The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. E it's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. And today, I'm giving you a tour of my home studio in 2020. Let's just jump into what's going on here in the living room. I've got everything set up on my Argosy Halo desk. I absolutely love these things because they hold all my outboard gear, even though I really don't have any in this setup. I just have an Apollo and a power strip. And on this side behind the computer, I have my uh, Moog Slim Fatty. As you can see over here on my Razer computer, I got the Call of Duty going. If you guys want to add me, right there is the username. They don't call me the realest puppet in the game for nothing. MacBook Pro 16, and as you can see, I got the, my Mixlab website pulled up. The new mixing and mastering school, me and Luca Predilessi just started. Aside from that, everything is actually connected really through this uh, one cable that you see right here. And this is why I use razor blades above all under other Windows computers, is because they are guaranteed to work with your Apollo. What I really love about these, Thunderbolt between either one. If we go down here under the desk, boom. That's a hub that has hardwire internet, an eye lock, everything that I need to uh, make it really easy to connect everything up here so that the surface of the desk is really clean, even though down here I know is a, a little bit of a mess right now. I have my big M audio keyboard. This is actually 88 keys. On top, I got my slate mic. I don't know, it's just nice when I'm talking on top of a table. My uh, Pioneer DDJ something RX2 maybe. I highly recommend you check out Kara's DJ set. I did a guest appearance at the very end. I actually premiered the No Evil remix in the DJ set. So it's not gonna be the last time you guys see us DJing, I promise you. The uh, Ableton push. And uh, let's see, what else we got out here? My uh, Yamaha HS ADM speakers. These are the old ones, not the new ones. I have the HS eights in the studio too, but we're gonna get to that later telescope for uh, whenever crazy things are going on in the sky above us. And, oh, of course, I almost didn't even talk about the ultimate vibe secret, these LifeX LED strips. They're completely sold out on Amazon. I'm not sure who bought them all. But they are definitely the best LED strips in the game. So moving on, we got the kitchen, skateboard, and uh, whoa, what is that? Now I know y'all might be asking, Reed, isn't that computer overkill? And honestly, for music, yes, it absolutely is. But if you guys haven't noticed, I've been pumping out a lot more than music lately. 4K video courses, some of them are an hour long, and a lot of them I shoot with uh, this thing right here. It's called the Komodo 6K. The lens is a Canon 24 Prime, and Pretty much everything else that you guys have seen on my YouTube channel was shot with this 50 millimeter prime lens. And uh, oh yeah, welcome to Laser Jungle Studios. The ring light keeps me good looking. A, let's see what else we got out here. Oh, all these boxes. Yeah, so this is the uh, power supply for the Sony, power supply for my Vintec. Honestly, the computer was just out here just to keep up space and to keep clutter out here because all these hard drives that I got. And speaking of hard drives, I swear, Samsung makes the best SSDs I've ever tried. This is not a plug. This is just my favorite one over the years. And you might be wondering, why not just get one big hard drive? And the answer is, that's what I use to back everything up. A 14 terabyte hard drive. I'm always going places and doing stuff. If I need to just go work on one project, I know which hard drive I gotta take because of what color it is. And boom, back into the studio. So as you can see, we really went in on the LifeX strips. Got another Argosy Halo desk here in the main studio. All right, I just set up my light because I want to show you guys what I take with me inside my producer backpack. This is a photography backpack that I'm actually using for music stuff, but holds everything you need safe and secure. The brand is called Langley. I'll put a link to it in the description. And let's just open it up and see what's inside my producer backpack. So of course, I always got to bring my ATH M50X headphones, got the iPhone dongle on here. And the next thing I keep in here is obviously my computer and my iPad. That's self-explanatory. And then in here, the secret compartment, wireless earbuds. Oops, 
Beats Pro. Adapter for when I'm not using the iPhone. My iLock dongle. Adapter for Thunderbolt, just in case. You never know when you're gonna need that. USB hub that will split it out into hardwired internet. This actually comes in handy. You never know when hotels are gonna have horrible Wi-Fi, so being able to use their hardwired internet can actually save you a lot of trouble. So if you bring a short wire, and then we got the limited edition. Oop, almost lost it. The limited edition Reed Stefan USB stick, and this is actually chock full of brand new whole loops drum kits, including Raw Hits 3 and Disrespectful 808s 2 that actually just dropped today. So I'll put links to my brand new drum kits in the description. Are your beats too respectful? Are you constantly searching for that perfect drum sample to finish your next smash hit? Introducing Raw Hits 3 the complete collection of drums, loops, and sounds organically harvested for guaranteed freshness. Raw Hits 3 is available now only at Holoops.com. Of course, shout out to UAD for the Apollo pillow, but you guys already saw that last year. Uh, back into the backpack. This is an adapter that allows me to charge my laptop while I drive. Well, not really while I'm driving, but extremely useful to be able to use your laptop in the car. I don't think I have anything in that pocket. What's got in here? Oh, this is an audio interface that lets you plug right into your iPhone. Any mic or quarter inch, guitar, whatever it may be, really, really useful. Opening up the bottom compartment, and this is really why it's a photography backpack, because you have plenty of space to separate your stuff into little, uh, I'm not sure if you can see the dividers that I have in there, but I got my MacBook Pro charger, my iPhone charger, and then back here, the Beast interface, the Apollo X4. Now, I really love having all these extra inputs because, for example, when I'm going over to meet with Luca to film my mix lab, I'll plug his mic into here, my mic into here, and then his DAW into here, and I'll capture all the audio using my laptop while he actually does the course with his laptop. Having four cores of UAD anywhere you go is just useful, period, even if you're not doing courses or need anything with extra inputs and whatnot. So that's what I take with me everywhere I go, inside my producer backpack. And now we'll get into the closet. This closet used to be a hot mess, but we obviously cleaned it up with some cable hooks. And for all the overflow, we got bags. So I got like USB-C, USB, some audio adapter cables. Everything's nice and organized, but I keep one of everything just so I can easily grab it right there. So anyways, back into the actual studio. I know everyone's wondering, well, what's your vocal chain? And that really hasn't changed for uh, year after year. My favorite mic really has been the Sony. Recently, you did see me and Kara check out the Telefunken. Telefunken really sounded great on females. If I had to pick one or the other, and then down here below the microphone, we have our Furman headphone stand. And this is just a convenient way to get another pair of headphones further away from the Apollo. And again, we got the Audio-Technica headphones. I don't know, they just serve us well, so we keep using them. So there's the Sony C800. It connects down here to the Vintec X73. And that goes up into the TubeTech CL1B compressor. And these are pretty much the settings that I use on speech. And then it goes from down here into the Apollo. And that's all I use this analog gear for, is to record the mic through it and then into the Apollo. And then from there, it just stays in uh, the DAW. And I mix everything in the box. And speaking of the DAW, right now I got the Ableton session open. This is actually the uh, remix for No Evil that I was talking about. <laughs> Hey. Anyways, sorry, getting carried away. What we got going on up here, other than the vocal chain, is my favorite speakers are the ATCs, and then here are my B speakers, the Aventone Mix Cubes, and then on top I have Yamaha HS8s, and honestly, these aren't even plugged in. It's really just to keep my cats off the ATCs because these were pretty expensive and the cats love jumping up here and sometimes their feet touch this part. And I'm cool with that if they touch this one. So I really just use this as a spacer to keep my cats off my speakers. So to be honest, AB and 
This is a cat bed. And then I got a uh, little phone holder right here for when I do my live streams. You guys are always seeing me from like this angle right here. Computer mouse, final mouse, Air 58. Really, really lightweight, high quality mouse. One of those things that, again, is really hard to find. I have this tendency of getting things that you can't get anymore. Same thing with these trees. Everyone's like, Reed, what are these LED trees? These disappeared out of Kara's Amazon purchase history. They disappeared off the website. We don't even know the answer to that question anymore. We've been trying to find more, but we just can't. So I apologize. This is going to be the only thing in my whole studio tour that I can't tell you where to get it. We have my uh, Clarity M Stereo. This is what I use. Let's see play. This is the version that I mixed and mastered specifically for the DJ set. So when I'm mixing the version that I know is for CDJs, I go as loud as I can. That's just how we bounced out the exclusive. Oh yeah, and if you guys want to see a little tutorial on how to make your hard drives all cool and rainbow like this, I'll put a link to that in the description too. I made that on TikTok. And then over here, as always, we got the Roland Phantom. Uh, this is like having Contact Factory Bank in a box. That's the easiest way to say it. It has the best, the sounds remind me of like the early 2000s pop and R&B. And then this is just a generic uh, complete MIDI controller just like this one. And then this is a little Akai drum pad that I keep plugged in. Sometimes I, I like using a drum pad over the keys. And the two screens are both LG screen. This is a 32 and a 28. I'll put the weird numbers in the description. They always give computer screens such weird names, Q24, some, who knows. And yeah, the absolute vibes of all vibes, the LifeX strips. Let's see, for the plaques on the walls, we got Kara's uh, vocal sample, a uh, million downloads on part one, 100,000 YouTube subscribers, thanks to you guys. And part two for Kara's vocals, did really, really well on Splice. The uh, cables that are all around, I use these little coil things. You wrap them and it basically turns a chunk of cables into a snake. I decided to run my computer, like I said, all the power for the Sony, power for the preamp. I wanted to get all that stuff out of the room. So I made this cable snake out the door, under the door, boom, into the computer. This keeps it as quiet as a proper vocal booth. I was always battling computer fan noise when I had the computer down there, like you saw in my last studio tour. And yeah, it's quiet as can be in here. So that's it for my studio tour. I hope you guys learned something or maybe found something that would help you in your setup. And if you want to check out the links to any of the gear that you guys saw in my video, I'm going to fill up the whole description section with that. And if you guys have any more questions about what you saw, leave it in the comments and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.